My Heart and I made this spherical music video called Peace for Triple Piano, and at the same time we made a making of video to explain it. We both got a bit carried away with the making of video. For my bit, I decided it needed animated transitions to explain what was going on. So in the spirit of getting carried away, here is the making of the making of Peace for Triple Piano, or at least the making of my bit of the making of Peace for Triple Piano. All the footage is manipulated using Python scripts. There are some related scripts on GitHub. There's a link in the description. Okay, let's do the easiest bit first, which is the tripling effect on the complex plane. In the main making of video, I say that we cube root the footage, but that's not entirely accurate. What we have to do is choose the color of each pixel in the image on the right. To do that, you have to map its position back over onto the left and find the pixel that it came from. This means that the map goes backwards and we are cubing complex numbers rather than taking cube roots. Okay, so to do the transition from doing nothing to doing the z cubed map, I do z to the power t, where t varies from 1 to 3 as time goes forwards. Next, there's the footage wrapped onto a sphere. This is all done with ray tracing. For each pixel on the screen, I send a ray forwards and solve an equation to find out if the ray hits the sphere, and if so, where. It's a quadratic equation, so it's not hard to solve, and I get the latitude and longitude of where I hit, so I can get the right pixel of the spherical footage. The transition to the stereographic projection onto the plane is just a sequence of expanding spheres. I chop off the spheres at the height of the original sphere, then figure out what color to make each point by tracing a line back to the north pole of that original sphere. This means that points move along straight lines from the sphere to the plane, which is what stereographic projection does. Finally, there's the transition that animates wrapping the equirectangular projection up onto the sphere. This was Sibeta Matsumoto's idea, which then gave me the idea for doing the stereographic projection transition I just talked about. It's easiest to think of time going backwards, and then it is again made with expanding spheres. As the sphere expands, we scale down the part of the equirectangular projection that our footage is rendered on proportionally. In the limit, the sphere reaches infinite radius and becomes a plane, and our footage has unwrapped to the equirectangular projection. The rest of my bit was just the same transitions going backwards with tripled footage, so that's more or less everything. But just to head off the prospect of a video on the making of, the making of, the making of Peace for Triple Piano, the 3D footage in this video is from Rhinoceros, which is the CAD software I use for making 3D prints, amongst other things. Thanks for watching!